Howdy guys, welcome back to another video of my let's play of Mutiny Pirate Survival. How are we doing? Hope you guys are well. So, what I want to do today is I am actually in the iron uh, zone here. So I want to try and pick up as much iron as possible. So basically what I'm doing at the moment is I'm trying to upgrade my boat. So I want to get it to level 8. So I think currently right now it's on level 7. And I've got pretty much everything I need. I just need to craft uh, some iron nails. And we should be good to go, to go to level 8. And I think, if I'm not mistaken, that should uh, give us access to the, uh, the lower bandits camp, I believe. Um, I think that's what I need. I'm not too particularly sure, but we are definitely going to find out in this video if that is the case. Um, but I'm hoping that will be the case, but I'm not too sure. But anyway... Enough about that. Um, speaking of the uh, the bandits camp, I do want to visit one of them, which I do have accessibility to. I haven't actually been there myself yet. So that is going to happen in this video today, depending on how fast or how quickly I sort of go through um, this zone here. I want to try and clear out as much as possible, of course. So um, that, that'll be sort of the go today, I think. But otherwise, um, aside from that, I have been upgrading some of my workstations and things like that. Um, also, if you guys n didn't see the previous video, do check that out. We went to the Island of the Apes um, island. So that's that timed event where you need that scroll. Guys, it's a really good um, zone for you guys to jump into. If you haven't done it before, um, get around it, get into it. Because, I mean, you get some pretty good stuff in there, in my humble opinion, of course. So... Um, for yourselves, I'm sure that, um, ooh, this is the night. Let's get out of here real quickly before the cursed captain um, decides to take us out. I actually kind of like the fact that he doesn't attack you straight away, which is a really, really good thing. Let's just close out real quick. So here, um, it says cutter is required to get there. So if I look at this here, my sloop, I don't think I can, no, I don't think I can interact it from here, unfortunately. So that is a bit of a bummer, but... It does say that this needs to be a cutter. So level 8 for the sloop there um, becomes a level 8 cutter um, from what I saw beforehand. So I'm assuming, yes I am assuming that that could be the case. I'm not too particularly sure but hopefully um, yeah we'll get some further insights. I am crafting some nails at the moment. Um, they're still on the go so I don't have what's required just yet hence why I'm in the zone here trying to um, get any and all conceivable materials as possible so yeah that's pretty much uh, you know the, the reason for that but so far so good I mean you know I, I managed to get some more heels as well I did a little bit of grinding um, to and from uh, what do you call it the tail islands and stuff like that so let's get rid of this robber here come on robber get out of here and the other thing I want to do is, um, I'm actually running out of clothes, believe it or not. So, I do have a lot of um, deteriorated clothes that I need to sort of, I guess, wear and, um, and go through before I sort of start restocking myself and getting more, um, ooh, if I go, yeah, he's going to see me. I'm not going to, I'm not going to engage. I'm sort of trying to make it as if I can sort of get past them without sort of them detecting me. So, if I can crouch and I can get by, I'll probably do it that way. And then from there, I guess, um, we'll sort of, you know, continue on. But the less engagement, the better for me, because the less um, resources that I'm using with my pistol, my heels, and things like that, if I need it, I am healing up, as, a, as you can see. But I just want to make sure that um, I'll use everything, you know, to sort of like a minimum. And, you know, sort of take it from there. Dude is getting hungry, unfortunately. It is what it is. You're going to have to sort of go without until, like, go back to base. So, yeah, sorry, dude. But, I can only do what I can only do with what I've got here. Which is not much. But right now, over 100 um, iron, which is fan-bloody-tastic. So let's um, sneak a doodle over here. Let's not arouse any sort of suspicion. Now, I didn't take my axe with me, which is a bit of a pain for me, of course. So, I'm a little bit disappointed there that I didn't do that. I've probably got something in my inventory, but honestly... I think I'm okay for the minute, and I say the minute loosely, oh Jesus, alright, come on dude, I'm going to have to take this fella out unfortunately, come on, reload quickly enough, and as you can see all of my clothing is pretty much deteriorated, alright, let's see what I get from this fella here, let's just take those and keep going, 
I am having to take a lot of those uh, uh, fabrics as well, so it's just easier on me so I can actually craft better um, better materials as really for the upgrades, really, for the upgrade workstations. Uh, there's a lot of food here, so I'm just going to run real quick and just take... I should probably be picking those up as well because they do offer a little bit of food, but I know I've got food back at base, so that shouldn't be much of an issue. Okay, so let's just pick up this over here. Actually, there's a lot of berries here, believe it or not. There you go. And I've only got about an hour and a bit with the, um, the VIP day as well, which, you know, I want to try and sort of make general use out of it as much as I can. Right, let's see if I can sneak my way over here. I should be able to get over here undetected. No, I cannot because I've got this ferocious, ferocious Ocelot here. And he's doing a number on me. And unfortunately, if I leave the zone, he's just going to come back. And I'll take that hide off you too, my dude. Yeah, it's just going to come back and, you know, wherever I spawn in on the island here, it is what it is. So I may as well just get rid of him, dispatch him and move on. All right, so look, I'm actually out of heels now. Should have enough back at base, but we'll um, we'll see how we go with it all. Let's go down this way. And that's where they were looking at before. So I'm pretty much covered the, the whole island, which is really good. So I should be able to get here undetected. And I think if I can be cheeky enough, I might be able to get that meteorite. Maybe. Just maybe. What? I'm tired. Dude's starving. So that's not a good time. So you are losing 8 health every second or so. Cool. Alright. Let's get the hell out of here because I'm not going to bother with him. My weapon's about to break and by the time I switch over it, it could be all over for me. But I think that's probably a good a good sample shot here. So let's, um, let's head back home. Purchase that. No problems in doing that. I've got a bit of coin I can, I can play around with, so no problems there. But this is where we want to go. We want to go to the pirate's camp. Sorry, why did I say bandit camp before? It's a pirate game, guys. To apologize, it is a pirate's camp one that we'll be going to. And over here, we've got the uh, camp three. So there is a camp two up here, I think. Yeah, there it is. So we might actually do that in the next video. But I really want to go to the level one, which shouldn't be too bad when we sort of go into it. But like I said, I just want to make sure that I'm, you know, fully prepared and we can, um, we can get through it without any problems. So this is going to bug me until I actually fix this, uh, fix this guy up. So I'm going to need to, ah, damn it. I always, I, I designed this base, right? And you think I put in everything that I need that, well, the right pa passageway for me to go through each and every time. No, definitely not. Definitely not. So let's go here. Uh, food, food, food. What did I have here? So I'm just going to eat a few of that. Actually, I don't have a lot of food. What the hell is going on? Right. Okay. That is not good. So I'm going to take some of the rum, actually. And we'll get that prickly pear down. Okay, so what's that done with my hunger? It's a little bit better. It's a little bit better. I should probably get some of this. I do have a lot of um, coal now, which is brilliant. So let's just get a full stack. Screw it. Full stack of that. That should be much better for me. And let's go ahead and get rid of all that. I'm going to take this with me just in case. And we'll dump all of that. Dump all of this. And the meteorite. Was that too full? Was I too... Oh, no. I ran out of um, space. That's okay. That's not going to be an issue in a moment. So let's get, try and get rid of some of this. I cannot. Oh, here we go. Perfect. There we go. And clothing-wise, what do I have? I'm, I'll take that and that. And honestly, I don't have much of anything else, do I? So let's just take that. Take that. It's a very, very makeshift and dodgy-looking um, set of clothes, if you know. So let's just take that with us, and I might just take that. So that, that should get me by, I reckon. That should get me by. Cool, cool, cool. Um, Weapon-wise... Honestly, I don't think I'm going to be needing this, so that can go. Um, I think... I think... That should be more than capable of getting in and out of that without a problem. 
let's go ahead and pop that in there I'll have that ready to go and do I need any do I actually have any uh, which, which books I do have a, an axe and a pickaxe so if I need it I've got it before we leave what I came to to get sorted out let's just get all that crafted look at that go awesome all right so I'm pretty much healed we're pretty much ready to go let's head across right now so like I said this is actually the first time I've been doing it so yeah I have been staying away from some of my games for quite some time and hence why that you guys hadn't seen me for a little while so honestly if I, if I were to go through it I probably need an, another few videos to sort of go through all that but honestly I just needed some time away um, as you do from time to time but yeah look now I should be back up and running fully and uh, yeah you guys should be getting some regular mutiny videos coming out um, you know hopefully at least once a week that's that's the aim but anyway um, let's see what this guy wants I want to hear the news Ooh, we do get a uncommon tube so okay so the Varga come to the camp with her cargo she walks here sticking her flags and her henchmen look so proud okay maybe we can burn everything here captain well, we need to lower their morale for sure so we're going to kill the thugs burn the flags and defeat Vara the smuggler and we're going to report back it's not a bad little um little quest to do here so i think we can probably do that i'll need some uh actually how to make a um yeah i'm gonna need uh some materials hopefully we have that all here otherwise if not ooh, not good so that looks like we're one of the flags up oh hello Oh jeez, okay. Swapping over. Take you out. Hopefully I can get some of the materials off the, the bodies of these guys. That'll be helpful. Okay, so I've got two of these guys after me. I wish I could attack a little bit harder, because that way I can only just two-shot these guys without having to use a third shot, which is really, really annoying. It's really annoying. So I wonder, if we start, um, uh, what do you call it, burning the flags, will that arouse suspicion possibly oh hey you had a nifty little weapon didn't you fortunately I couldn't um, use that for myself okay so no materials here I don't think I have a um oh got a thug 450 oh wow bro you, you are stacked my dude I was going to say, um, what was I going to say? I don't know if I've brought enough weapons with me. That's what I'm thinking right now. Okay, I am getting a little bit of materials, which is good. But uh, as you can see, there's a lot going on here, guys. A good, a good lot. Alright, dude. Let's just take you out. Okay, so you didn't have anything there. Okay, so I think I reckon. Oh wow, 600. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, run, 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 my dude. You're 300, so I'll be able to take you out without a problem. And then you, my dude. You will pose a bit of a problem if, well, if a lot of these guys are 600 plus. I'm sure um, Varga, what's her name? I think that she will have um, quite a little bit more HP, I'd imagine. Okay, and so I've only killed two out of the five thugs. Hmm, I'm not too sure what constitute as a thug. I mean, you've got bounty hunters here, you've got other henchmen here, corsairs and whatnot. But I haven't really actually been paying attention, have I? Okay, so I think I'm gonna have to give up my position here and get him to aggro on me. Yeah, and honestly that's probably the best one to do because he was the weakest. There we go, so we've got a snitch here. Okay, so here's a, here's a little bit of nothing. Got some rum. So I'll tell you what though, it's a little bit on, on, more on the difficult side if I'm being honest. I don't know if I'm going to be needing to go back and get some, um, what do you call it, get some additional weapons. Ooh, we've got a green guy over there too, so it looks like someone's held captive. So Mr. Thug, oh god, I got all three of them onto me. 
That's not what we want to do and do that. So bounty hunter, got to go, and we've got the other Corsair over here. I tell you what, just as well I did bring a full quality weapon, but I'm gonna need more. Alright, Corsair, you are out of here. And this bounty hunter, you are also out of here. Thank you very much. Let's see what what we've got in here. Um, cool, we've got some food, which is great. Let's just take that. Let's just take that. And we do have some more weapons. Good, good, good. Okay. See what's in here. Oh, he's um, so he's a friendly, he's a friendly dude. Okay, gotcha. Okay, so can I go in here? We're under attack. Oh, thanks for alerting everyone. I didn't need you to really do that, did I? No. Yeah, your proximity. Very good. Okay, so let's take this boy out. So, so far doing the hard yards here. It's actually pretty cool. I do like the, um, I do like this whole layout. Very, um, it's more difficult, especially if you had to panic and run and get out of here. It would pose, you know, quite a, quite a number of problems, really. Okay, Corsair, you're out. Thank you very much. Okay, so what have we got here? I want to eat. Get rid of that. Do this, just so I can heal up. Do that, and that. Okay. Gives me a reasonable amount of heals. Oh, and we've got a... Uh, what do you call it? A door, a, or not a door, what am I saying? A base. So it's sort of like a cabin, if you will. Okay, you... Oops. Okay, Corsair, you are done. Thank you. Okay, so that's a thug. I'm guessing once I take him out... Well, I've got three out of five. Oops. Now, do you change? Four out of five. Okay, so it's the thugs I'm going to take out. Well, that makes sense. Those are the more uh, dangerous so far that I've come across. There's a, a few more guys over there that I'm going to need to deal with. Let's just go ahead and pop these on just so I can get some storage back. And I've got all these weapons here that I'm not too sure that I'm going to be utilizing just yet, but I might have to dip into my inventory, which I really don't like to do, but if I need to, I need to. Okay, so let's get rid of you. Oop. Pop that on. Heal up. There we go. So that should be five out of five, right? Yes, it is. So I've got to burn five of those pirate flags, which again, like I said, I'm going to need to find the right materials, which I don't have right now. I'll tell you what, I'm actually enjoying taking all these fellas out. Not going to lie. So far, so good. Okay, Mr. Bounty Hunter, you got to go. Thank you very much. While we're here, we should not be impacted or attacked. So I'm just going to quickly suss out if I do have another gun. Which I should. I've got a good pistol. That's a really good pistol too. Uh, Corsair Blunt Blast. I do have some good weapons. I just want to use, you know, commonly used ones. If I can. Alright, it doesn't look like I'm going to have... A weapon or so which is going to be very disappointing I mean I've got a copper saber I really don't want to use a copper saber I might just end up using the good pistol because I I want to sort of keep these icy blood see that that's ridiculous I want to hang on to those I don't want to give them up anytime soon so that is going to come with me and when that thing break when this thing breaks we'll switch over to it but I wouldn't mind clearing everybody out, just to say that I've done it. And I know it's not probably a requirement or anything like that, but at least, you know, I can say that I've done it. Here's another thug. He's actually a little bit less, um, a little less potent, aren't you? So, where are you? Thank you very much. 
I knew it. Yeah. Now this should be a little bit more streamlined now that I've got a slightly better weapon. So, I think a lot of these should be a lot of two shots here coming through. But these guys, these guys aren't doing anything here. So, I don't know if I should really bother them. There we go. Oopsie. That's one. That's two. Okay. Yeah, I don't know if I should really bother them. Really, if I w really wanted to, I could take them out. And I wouldn't have a problem. Oops. Don't need any of that. So, you know what? Let's keep going. Actually, I didn't even loot this. There you go. Okay, so let's just take that. Okay. So, I'm guessing right now we're going to be getting towards the business end of things. Which, you know, we're getting towards um, the base up here, so... Alright, you. Why are you running back? Okay, so I better eat some of this stuff here, just so I can get rid of um, inventory space and all that sort of good stuff. Now I don't need it. Now, you know, the fact that I don't need to eat because I've got complete fullness. I complete, I just need the, um, what do you call it? The inventory space. And I just can't be bothered running all the way back to the boat, just picking things up. Or sorry, dropping things off and whatnot. So, yeah. Anyways. Let's keep going. There we go. And you, my friend, up here. Okay, just stop sneaking and just start hitting. Thank you very much, Jesus. Okay. Okay, so there's nothing over here. We're good. Now, there is a couple of bamboo stuff over here, which I can sort of, you know, pick up and whatnot. But I don't see any, um, what do you call it, cane seeds or anything like that for me to grab. So I can actually make the, um, uh, the whatchamacallits. So I can make the um, the torch. Let's just take that and that. So this is where the business is, end of the deal is going to happen here. So I'm guessing this is where she's going to be in. Yeah. So she's got 1,200. Okay. It's not going to be too bad. I don't have... Um, okay, an axe or a powder keg. That's what I'm going to need. Okay. Oh, hello. You decided to come out. Why do you run back in for? Oop. Get out of here. Okay, come on. Well, I've, I've got you less than halfway. Ah, now you got a little, um, a little stabby stabby thing. There you go. Well, you're out, aren't you? Do I have any powdered kegs? I don't think I have any powdered kegs in here. I didn't really, I wasn't really looking beforehand for it, if I'm being honest. Um, let's have a look, let's have a look. Powder kegs. No powder kegs. Okay. Well, I don't have any of that. Which is disappointing. It is what it is. Just interested to know how long it's going to take for me to get in. I guess back here so I can loot. Alright, so let's just see what happens. I might not be able to get in. Oh, I am. I, I did. Perfect. Cool, so we've got the big loots here. Not bad. I mean, relevant for everything, I guess. Uh, let's just go ahead and drink that. I do want to take some of this stuff with me, so that can go, that can go, that can come back with me. This. Okay. Okay, well, I'm going to get rid of that and that and keep that there. So honestly, I've pretty much done it, if I'm being honest. And it's not, not a bad little um, little event for you guys to do. Yeah, I, don't, I didn't think I... Did I say... Oh my god, I keep coming back and forth in this here. I'll tell you what, I'm terrible. Absolutely terrible. I don't think I've seen a torch to light anything up. I don't even know if I need a torch, actually. Honestly, let's just go to one of these things. Yeah, requires a torch, of course. So that's what I'm going to need. So I'm going to be doing that in my own time, and I'm just going to race back home, pick up the torch, come back, 
and then we'll just set everything alight. So I'm assuming that's pretty much it that needs to be done. And yeah, I don't think there's anything else here that does need to be done. But I would imagine possibly, if anything, that there's going to be some resistance when I start burning these flags. So I should be free to leave um, the island because it's a six day and uh, 23 hour timer. So it's just one of those events that you can come here quickly and then you can um, take off, come back, all that sort of stuff. So yeah. So if I leave... Yeah, pretty much. So, new group of pirates will rely, uh, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. arrive in six days' time. Jesus, can't even talk, A2. What are you doing to yourself? But anyway, I'll race back. I'll drop everything off. I'll go back and finish it off and get that quest anyway. But anyway, let me know in the comments what you think about this one here. Did you enjoy it? If you didn't, let me know. If there's anything else I could do differently, let me know. Otherwise, if you did enjoy it, drop a like, comment down below. And if you guys are new to the channel, if you're not new to the channel, make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell icon so you don't miss out on any future videos. Alright guys, take it easy and I will catch you guys next time.